From the music of Final Fantasy to a near automata, Japanese game music has always captivated me differently compared to traditional Western game music. Maybe it was the chords that were used or the instruments, but something about it just hits different for me, you know? For years, I've been trying to find an answer as to why Japanese game music or Japanese piano music in general sounded like this. Until I saw this vid. Out of nowhere, a composer slash musician named Gavin Leeper made a video about Japanese chord progressions, basically giving everybody the secret sauce. This guy made a revolutionary discovery. In this video, my mission is to create a piece of music that resonates the same vibe as these Japanese composers in three steps. First of all, we're going to be taking a look at the music theory side of things. After that, we're going to be going over the production stuff. And also, lastly, I'll be showing you the final thing itself. All right, come join us. Remember a moment ago I mentioned about Gavin Leeper? Well, <laughs> guess what? Hey Weebs, my name is Gavin Lieber and I'm a composer who teaches about the music theory of Japanese anime and video games. In studying this music, I've found a few chord progressions that are really common. For our purposes here, I'm going to do a quick overview of them. For more in-depth look, please check out my video on common chord progressions in modern Japanese music. The first device we'll cover is 4536, also known as the Odo Shinko. Alright, let's pause for a second here. For those of you who don't know how chords are being noted, basically the capital letter means major and the small letter means minor. The number that it is representing shows where the root note of the chord actually is. Let's say we are in the key of C major and we want to talk about F major chord. F is the fourth note in the C major scale and because it's a capitalized letter, therefore it is an F major, not an F minor. Okay, let's continue on. The first device we'll cover is 4536, also known as the Odo Shinko, which means the Royal Road progression. And really that just means the classic progression because it's used so much in modern Japanese music. It's in several anime OPs and I'm sure you've heard it before. In C major, it goes like this. Another common chord progression is 4-5-6, which I've called the seal progression in other videos. Now, it's important to note that each of these progressions ends on a minor 6 chord, which in C major would be an A minor. There's a really common instance of what's called modal mixture or modal interchange, in which when we go to the 6 chord, instead of landing on it as a minor chord, which would be A minor, we land on it first as an A sus, a 6 sus chord, and then as an A major, a 6 major chord. We can string these devices together to make something that sounds more like a real song. In fact, a song I wrote called Mint Chip uses all three of them. Thank you, Kevin san Be sure to stop by his channel if you want to learn more about Japanese music theory. Yo! Hello, welcome to Ableton. Yes, this is definitely not my fourth time re-recording this part. Okay, let's get straight into it. First of all, what I did was I just... Uh, using Gavin Leeper's techniques that he showed us just now about how to recreate that Japanese sound, I made some piano chords. Yes, and after that, I literally just made some more parts and then I just joined them together so that it flows like a real song. After I've done the piano part, what I did was I just transposed the whole track, uh, you know, just transposed it and see, you know, what works. And I didn't just transpose it for no reason, I transposed it because in this track we have a singer. Yes, we have a singer for the first time. And uh, please introduce yourself. Hello, 
My name is Nikaido, and I absolutely hate cockroaches. We will be looking at his vocals in a moment, but after I finished arranging the piano stuff, I added some orchestral instruments, stuff like a violin, a trumpet, some cello, harp, you know, just to make it grander. And since this is a near automata inspired track, what we did was we just took the melody, like the main melody. like the Nier Automata Kainé track and put it in our track. It's not plagiarism, it's, it's, it's inspiration. <laughs> Other than that, I also added some orchestral percussions and stuff like that. Yeah, that's the basic structure of the song. Let's take a look at the interesting part of the song, starting with the intro. So let me play you the intro. So the intro is made using several layers as you can hear. The first one is um, the piano, obviously. And then I layered that with a reverse piano. And you'll hear a lot of reverse piano in a lot of like JRPG tracks or just Japanese tracks in general. While that makes the bulk of the intro, we haven't taken a look at what makes the atmosphere. So in this intro, I was going for like a scene, like a, you know, like those typical anime scenes where like the main character falls down from the ocean and then like bubbles go up. You know, I was, I was trying to recapture that moment, put in some water sound effects and then I put in a low pass filter here so that it sounds like it's underwater. The second interesting part I would like to show you guys is what I like to call the Baba Yaga part. So let me just play a snippet of it first. When writing this part, I was inspired by Joe Hisaishi's works, you know, with Studio Ghibli and stuff. And one thing I realized is he uses a lot of quarto chords and it sounds like this. In my opinion, that sounds pretty Studio Ghibli, right? And then for the percussions, I was inspired by the older like Final Fantasy games. They always have like these upbeat kind of stuff like this. Alright, let's go to the vocal. So in this part, we have this. So I downloaded these vocals from this video on YouTube that I found of an old guy singing in a traditional Japanese style. And then what I did was I just pitched it up using a little altar boy, put some reverb and some effects on here, some auto pan and then there we go. So basically after that I just added some more instruments, put some near lore. And yeah, that's the entire track. So let's play it.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. By the way, Nikaido is new to YouTube, so be sure to stop by his channel. He's planning to make videos about gaming, music production, voice acting, Japanese lessons, so be sure to check out his channel if you like stuff like that. Again, I would like to thank Gavin San for being a part of this video. Spe 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 special. If you like my work and would like to get access to stuff like behind the scene goodies, a shout out at the end of every video, and a custom Discord role, be sure to support me on Patreon. Or, or if you want to support me one off, you can also buy me a coffee too. Alright, be sure to like and subscribe and if you enjoy content like this and enjoy talking to people then be sure to join my Discord server, links in the description below. Alright, thank you for this month's Patreons. Johnny.